Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 with Brackets video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. In this video we're going to learn how to add Font Awesome to our Bootstrap 4 website. Now what is Font Awesome? Let's spin over to their page and I'll put these links below the video. Uh, Font Awesome is a collection of, of fonts that are awesome like the name says and you can use them in your websites I'm on their site now I'm gonna go down and just hit the free button because that's what we'll be using you can purchase the pro version if you want more fonts but the free is usually enough for most people's needs and they've got all these fonts that you can incorporate into your site and they look really really good they're SVGs, so they scale up and scale down really well So how do we incorporate them? Well, it's amazingly easy. If I go back to my site here, I've just created a few little columns here and I want to perhaps add a font awesome at the top there. If we go to the get started page, get started. You see down here, all you've got to do is grab this piece of script copy it control C now if we go to our website and open our index HTML file and it's, here it is in our brackets text editor all we want to do is go up and before the head closes we just got to paste that file in there before that the closing end tag now this draws them straight from the web itself I'm going to show you a different way in a moment that I actually prefer because it makes me easier to customize but if you just want to use the basic fonts this is the way to do it now save that it looks like I haven't saved from a previous save okay now let's go back now let's go to the font list. I'll move that one back out of the way. We go up to the top here and have a look at the actual icons ourselves. Let's select a couple of icons. Again, I'm going to click the free tab. I'm just going to grab the first few I see here. You can actually do a search. I don't know if there's any food related ones. Seeing as our, our site's food, a foodie site, that's fine. Let's use this one for a start. I'm going to click on it. there's the code we need right there so I'm just gonna select that copy it control C and if we look here you can make make larger versions of it and background versions of it but uh, we've selected this code so let's put it into our our text right here into our editor I scroll down to those three columns that I just made just now. Here we are. Let's insert it right there. Let's just save that and see what it looks like. Here's our site. Let's update. I've updated that text so that will change as well. But we should have a little icon right here now. There it is. There's that little knife and fork icon. and we can make it bigger by simply adding another piece of text here it is five x that should make it five times the size there we go it's nice and big there of course we probably want to center align it so let's center align everything we'll put this in the encapsulating div here and it should center everything that's inside it there save that control s and let's take a look there we go that's center align that now we'll give that a little bit of padding at the bottom or 
or padding at top here's its class all I need to do to add some padding is hit P and three you can do one to five just inbuilt little padding classes in the new bootstrap four they're great control s to save that should give it actually I'll do PB which is padding bottom let's save that I don't want any more padding on the top it's fine at the top now when I refresh should have a li little bit more padding down the bottom there there we go that's fine now let's just grab a couple more and then I'm going to show you a different way of doing it because as is I don't quite know why that's food <laughs> but anyway as is is great but it's not real easy to customize our fonts using this method and paste that in there and I'll grab one more and we'll just copy the attributes over for another one the Apple logo <laughs> I guess that's food okay and let's just copy our attributes from the top one there five times the size and a padding bottom PB of three save that let's go back to the site and refresh we should have icons across so there we have it that's all well and good um, but these icons are actually quite difficult to edit if you want to add custom CSS styles so what I'm going to do is show you an alternative method that I like to use that makes it really easy to customize and add custom CSS to them so if we go back to the site we go to the top we'll go to the home page and hit the download button now, I've already got it downloaded here but if you hit it I'll hit it again it'll just download it for you and once it's downloaded this is what it's going to download for you save it somewhere where you can use it just extract it in your folder or wherever you put it and inside see web fonts with CSS so we want to grab that web fonts folder copy it control C and just paste it inside our root folder of our bootstrap website here so we've got all those fo fonts physically in there and we have also got a CSS file what I'm going to do is go inside the CSS file And I'm going to copy Font Awesome All Minified right here. Then I'm going to go to our website folder again and inside our CSS folder with our custom CSS file here. I'm going to paste that file. Now we just want to open our index.html file. Let's go back up to the top. and just below the head let's get rid of that one that we put in for grabbing it from the web and let's just copy this which is the link to our custom style sheet here drop down a couple just paste that in save me typing it out all right font awesome Now the file we just copied over was this minified all. So let's just, I'm going to hit F2 for rename and I'm going to copy the name, copy. Move that back out of the way. And we put it in our CSS folder so it's already there. And the name of it that I've just copied, I just got to paste in there. And make sure we put the .css file type 
on the end there. Quick save. Now, if we go down to our text that we were working on here, those should still be there, but we're actually pulling them in from our onboard file rather than from the web. Back to the site. And let's do a refresh. And there should be no change. But now we can actually style them. So if we right click, hit inspect. Let's roll that up a bit so we can see it better. And pull this up a little bit more. Let's have a look here. Well, I think what I'm going to do first is give give a class to our div. And uh, here's our divs right here, and I'll give it a class of IC1 for icons one. You can call yours whatever you want to call it, just as long as you remember. And I'll add that class to the others as well. That way I can target IC1 I for the fonts. Quick save, back to the site. Now what do we want to do with it? I'll do this quickly because we don't want to spend too much time on it. So let's give it a color. Just blue. Um, what we'll do, we'll give it a bit of padding and give it a border. So let's give it, say, 15 pixels. And let's give it a border, also blue. So let's say three pixels, solid blue there we go that'll do fine and what I'll do is I'll just copy that and we'll target all of these so they've got the same ones obviously you don't have to give it these borders or anything like that I'm just doing a demonstration here now if we go back to our brackets text editor to the custom CSS scroll down to the bottom and we'll just add an icons class. Give it a title so we can find it again. And that div we called IC1, wasn't it? IC1. Let's put a dot in front of that or a period to target it and we want to target the icons which was the i class so if we look at the html here we're targeting ic1 and the i class there and let's just paste in our css open and close some curly brackets drop down and control v to paste in hello i didn't copy that let's go back to the site here copy this And I paste it in here. Don't need that, just need the actual stuff that we copied. And don't need that tag either. Okay, let's save that. Control S and back to the site. Now, all these should have those same attributes. The border might not look quite right if they're a different shape, but it's just a demonstration. There we go, now they've all got that border. And like I say, it makes it really easy to style if you do that. Uh, let's give it a little box shadow, shall we? Oh, I know, let's do this. Here, yeah, let's take it a little bit further. Let's give it a hover effect. And we've covered this in various videos, so if you don't know what I'm doing here, please take a look at some of our other videos. Colon, no space. A very important no space let's change the color to red and this time we'll, we want to change the border to red also in fact even better let's do this let's do background red just for a bit of fun We'll make the color white. 
padding will stay the same border we want that red too and let's give it a box shadow let's make it I want to make that a colon not a semicolon it will not work uh, two picks by five picks by say 15 picks this is all guesswork here but it should be okay and the color of a dark gray okay now let's give it a transition value transition duration sorry this is gone slightly beyond the scope of adding fun awesome but just have a bit of fun with it um, 0.75 seconds and to make it compliant with all browsers I'm using Chrome which I suggest you do as well let's do a WebKit That'll take care of most of the other browsers and Moz, which will take care of Firefox. Might not even need to do this with the newer Moz, but I just do it out of habit to make sure it's uh, compatible. These vendor pre prefixes will make it uh, work within all browsers. All right, let's save that. Save that. Got everything. I'm missing a semicolon there very important you don't miss things because it will read not read the stuff that's below otherwise control s to save back to our site let's get this out of the way do a quick refresh now hopefully when we roll over these they should transition to red and those other things that were going on there there we go and it's taking 0.75 of a second if you're not sure what I was doing there with these hover effects, have a look at some of our simple CSS videos. We go over this in, in more detail. So that is how to add Font Awesome to your site. Took a little bit longer than I wanted to take on this video, but it's worth it. It's a fantastic, I use them in most of my bootstrap sites. And you can also incorporate them into WordPress sites as well. Uh, for the brackets text editor, I don't know if I mentioned this before, this is a free text editor, it's absolutely fantastic. I use it for all my bootstrap builds. Like I say, it's free and you can download it from a link below this video too. So I hope you found that useful. If you have, please subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in web development, take one of our courses in the links below the video. We have some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers as well as some great free courses down there. So once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.